What's up everybody? So we're going to do a video today that's a little bit un more unconventional than what we've done before, but it was super cool and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I did share it on Instagram. This is a Leucistic Swainson's Toucan. Now, uh, Leucistic is kind of like albino, but not quite. Albino is a lack of melanin, which is why, at least I think this is correct. If I'm wrong about anything, please correct me down in the comments and I'll pin the comment, but albinism is basically when uh, an animal mutates to where it lacks melanin, so that's why their eyes will be pink and things like that, because it lacks the melanin in the eye that will in turn cause blood vessels to be able to show through the eye, essentially. Uh, this toucan is leucistic. And this is a like a one-of-a-kind first thing. I saw a photo of one like this maybe a year or two ago, but it was from further away. I don't think they're the same bird. I think they're two different birds, but they're both Swainson's toucan, toucans. This photo is a lot closer than uh, the previous photos. So this one appears to be a, like a young female. Um, it's hard to say for certain because Toucans are not sexually dimorphic, which means you can't really tell what gender they are. They look the same uh, without DNA sexing or anything like that. But um, typically females will have shorter, stubbier bills. The other one from earlier that I will show now appears to be male, but this close-up one feels, appears to be a younger female. Leucistic animals lack certain types of pigments, where albino animals just lack melanin. So it's a rare mutation. It's a more, well... So their black, their eyes are still black or whatever color they would normally be, essentially. But they look very similar. Um, you see a lot of mutations like this in the reptile community, and there are leucistic and albino and other mutations in birds. It's just it takes years and years and years of selective breeding to get them. Usually, um, so you see it a lot with snakes, like ball pythons, especially. Um, Burmese pythons, stuff like that, and then of course leopard geckos, and it just creates a very unique and unusual animal that typically would not be able to survive in the wild. Um, this toucan was probably able to survive because toucans aren't really concerned about whether they draw attention to themselves or not. They don't really have any predators in the wild aside from like birds of prey and things like that once they're fully grown. So if they can make it past being a fledgling, then they're pretty much good to go. But yeah, this is just an incredibly beautiful animal. The reds that it has mixed with the yellows and the greens, like there's just nothing I've seen like it. I would literally, I would give anything to see this in person, to be honest. I've always wanted to see some sort of color mutation in a toucan. And fun fact, uh, black panthers, since we're on the topic of color mutations, black panthers are actually just melanistic variations. Like they have more melanin than normal variations of panther species, such as jaguars and leopards. So sorry, T'Challa, you're not that special. What's, what's on your feet here, buddy? But anyways, it's a very interesting animal. Uh, it's, like I said, Swainson's toucan or chestnut mandible toucan. This was taken in Costa Rica. Uh, I'll put a credit to, I'm not, I'm not sure if the photographer has a, an Instagram or anything like that, but if I can find one, I will put a credit in the description, and if not, uh, I will put his name at the very least. So, pictures from further away I think were taken by somebody at the Toucan Rescue Ranch. I could be wrong on that. I'll have to do some research and just double check, but I'll, I'll put all the credits that I can find in the description, and then of course we have our merch and patreon and all that cool stuff check us out on instagram because like i said i did post this on instagram first so if you want to see cool stuff like that uh instagram's a cool outlet for it it's at toucan tv just like the channel here and uh maybe we'll do more videos like this where we just talk about cool stuff shortly and toucan related or bird related stuff let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you all next time bye for now Guys, look what we have. Toucan merch. And it's Maeve approved. You guys have been asking for this forever. So we finally went ahead and did it. And we have new styles coming out soon for the winter and fall season. 
with long sleeves and with me. But anyways, make sure to check it out on represent.com slash store slash Toucan TV. Make sure to check us out on Instagram. Link in the description for all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh, hello again.